So this question says the number A is 110% greater than the number B. So first of all, I can tell that that sentence, that English sentence, right, can be converted into a mathematical statement. So in essence, this is going to be a translation question. And translation just means we're going to literally turn this entire sentence into a mathematical statement. So let's get started. The number A, so A, is means equals. 110% greater than. So that tells me, you know, that I have something, but on top of that, it's 1.1 times whatever that something is. Now, what is that something? Greater than the number B. So here's what, here's how we interpret 110% greater than the number B. So I have B, and I have an additional 110% greater than B, which is 1.1B, right? So in essence, this becomes A equals 21 and then the next sentence says the number B is, so equals, 90% less than 47. So I could say, well, that's 47 minus 0 0.9 times 47. Again, the 47, and then 90% less than that 47. Another way that I could write that is just that that's going to be 10% of 47. So 0 0.1 times 47. Now let's not forget that percentages are always written in their decimal form when we do math, right? So 110% is the same as 1.1, 90% same as 0 0.9, 10% same as 0 0.1. I'm gonna go along with this interpretation though because it's more direct to how the question was worded. Um, the question goes on to say, what is the value of A? All right, so again, let's just recap. I know that A is equal to 2.1B because it's 110% greater than B, and I know that B is equal to 90% less than 47, so I have my 47, but then I'm subtracting from that 47, 90% of the 47. So let's do some more math here. Um, 0 0.9 times 47 in my calculator is 42.3, so it becomes 47 minus 42.3. And then 47 minus 42.3 is equal to 4.7. So B is equal to 4.7. Now, if A is 2.1 times B, that makes it 2.1 times 4.7. I'm going to do the math there in my calculator. I get that A is equal to 9.87. So there is our answer for 